Hey, it's Steve here from B&H Photo, and we're at NAB in 2014. I'm talking to Mitch Gross of Convergent Design, and he's going to show us the proof of product of the Athena. Yes, product previewing just for now. Product this preview. is a uh, so it's a mock-up of Athena. It'll be shipping by the end of the year. The Athena is a 4K multi-stream player recorder that's also an encoder decoder. Now this is a kind of a significant change from the Odyssey 77Q. This is not an on-camera recorder. Right. I mean, Odyssey, people are using it in lots of ways, but it was sort of originally conceived as an on-camera device. People are using it in other ways. And we sort of wanted to expand on that sort of functionality, but bring it more into sort of uh, your studio environment, your professional uh, uh, facility environment, and then also take it out to a lot of other areas, including presentation and educational uses. We have a lot of clientele that are really go into areas that people don't think of generally as sort of standard production. Right, so on camera, the screen is a great item, but with just a recorder and a player, you don't really need that. Well, you know, this is designed to go, if you want, into a rack, it's half rack size, it's one RU height, so it's really a compact unit, but this can has enormous horsepower. This tiny little box, I can go 4K in at 60p. If I go 4K at 30p, I can do two streams, so two complete separate simultaneously. signals. Simultaneously. Simultaneously. Goes to the same SSDs that we use in the Odyssey, but I can take 4K in at 30p, 2K at 60p, do two streams. So now this is a digital cinema system. Right. I can be recording cameras that way, but then think about playing back, I can feed a 3D cinema if I wanted, or you know, multi, two different th so uh, regular cinemas. So you can handle the two, in a two camera shoot? Two camera shoot, I, actually, I can actually do in HD or 2K, I can do four cameras simultaneously. Right, the data rates match up so that it works out beautifully. I can have tons of information plus 64 channels of audio. So six, four cameras, 64 channels of audio. I could be doing a sitcom here in a, in a studio. I could be doing a small concert. We can gang these together if you wanted to have more cameras really, running. Really, they communicate with each other. They can communicate to each other so you can have them synced and ganged together. And then on the back here you see, we, this is where it's encoder decoder. Here is gigabit ethernet. Right. So we can then be recording directly on here as well as streaming out to post at the same time. At the same time, or you can delay it so that if your po if your path isn't a big enough pipe to get there, it can communicate with, with a computer system or whatever sort of your end system is over a local area network and be able to stream that material over to them so they can begin working on it in post continuously. We just I talked to a, a church group here that uh, right. yesterday and they were saying, well, you know, we would like to have the four cameras doing the church and we go in and then. 15 minutes later, it's recorded here, but 15 minutes later we want to be able to have that feed going to be able there. to play in the next church when they see the pastor live. That all of that could be coordinated right here. You could be doing, say, a point of sale, and you could have four monitors going, and they could all be touch screen. They'd be running different material at the same time, and all of that could be controlled from this one box so with a playlist. this is way more than just a recorder playback. This, mean, is, this is a is... lot more than that. There's lots of different ways you could be enabling this use. Plus, if you shoot 4K today, what are you going to do with it? You're going to take that the Mac Pro trash can and you're going to like right. walk around to go to the, your screen. You can use this as a player device. So even just someone with a 4K camera today could then be taking their material. You would go into a, a regular edit system. You offload your files right onto the SSD, stick it in here, and, and, you're and you'd play it. Or digital signage. You could be Fun. using Ethernet, so just this could be locked up in a closet somewhere, and you beam your material in over Ethernet, and then play that material back on all your digital sign, video wall, whatever it might be. I want to jump back for a second because sure. I like that it uses the same SSDs. Yes, the you same standard. Proven, proven technology. Right. Then this, these SSDs are very safe. You use our SSD technology. We have this up to two terabyte memory system. Our SSDs are proprietary because, and I say proprietary, it's a standard. ESATA connection, right, but regular we use, 2 point You use your SSDs and, the and they're reason, proven. Yes, our SSDs, first off, three points to it. One, we test every one. They're absolutely rock solid. We know they're going to work with our systems. Two, they maintain their read-write speed. 
some manufacturers kind of play the right. numbers a little bit. Right. When the thing is empty, when it's never been used before, it has a certain data rate. But when you use it 500 times, and when you fill it up more than halfway, it starts to lose its speed, speed, and then you might drop frames. And that's no, no good. No, you want a proven safe system, yeah. and this is a complete system, and, and the, the third the, one. The third one is actually the most important. Right. These are power protected. So those drives, if the power kicked out in the middle of a shot or something, on another system, that might kill the file. You might corrupt that file. You might, in theory, even corrupt, corrupt the entire the drive. And then you could have lost hours of material. That's all gone. That's a tragedy. Well, these are power protected. They have a little circuit in them that is enough juice. It detects that it lost power, and it closes out the file. So your, the file. Your, your material was safe. Right. Your stuff stops your recording, but you didn't lose everything up to that you point. You didn't lose anything. You, lost, you got your shot. You got your whole drive. Everything that's on there. You're going to have that sort of same system built into Athena. So this autoplay right. system, if the power goes out, and you know this is like some big video wall. I'll never forget being in Times Square one time and seeing a giant, one of those giant uh, uh, video wall displays, and seeing a big error 404 right. message up on the screen. And there's got to be some guy in a closet sweating it out. So, this guy, if you lose power, turn when the power comes back, it automatically reinstates itself. Right. It goes back to where it was. It go it, within a few seconds, auto restart, and it just starts its playlist again. So it's small, tiny, completely robust and it looks like an amazing device. I can't wait for it to be released. What are we thinking? We're looking at showing product functioning at IBC in the fall and then shipping by the end of the year. Wow, shipping by the end of the year. That's an amazing piece of technology. Mitch, thanks very much for spending the time with Thank us. Thank you. I'm Steve from B&H Photo at NAB 2014. Thanks for watching.